that for you? Good, two very different halves. Um, I think the first half we were really good, really intense. Um, understood where the spaces were and the execution was really good. We were a threat all the time. We had a lot of bodies um, attacking. We were really direct. Um, counter press was top. I really liked it. We considered nothing. Second half, we started a bit sloppy. We changed formation and we had too many giveaways, so we didn't give us any control of the match. Uh, and the last 20 minutes, we changed, changed again and uh, I think we got control again. So overall, the boys are doing what they do everything in training. Trained, training really well, really high intensity in every session, and, and you can see the way they play. Gabriel, once again, mm -hmm. looks a real fresh up front to me. Yeah, he looks really sharp, really dynamic, um, really good understanding with the teammates straight away. Um, they are looking for him, he's generating chances, uh, good connections around. Um, around specific spaces that we want to explore with him, especially, and uh, yeah, really happy. If you played as a nine, Mikhail, and was that a big part of the discussions with him about him coming here? Do you see that as his true position, the nine? Well, he's very versatile, but um, obviously the way we would like to develop him, it's, it's in that position, but not on his own sometimes. Or, don't close that door because Gabi, in, in relation to what the opponent does in certain games, we're going to have to use him in, in different positions. And he's open to that and he knows that it's part of his, his strength as well. And in English football, there's kind of the old stereotype of the target man, the six foot guy holding mm. the ball up good in the air. You've gone for Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Nketiah. They're two different types of strikers. So, what are the qualities they have that you think can give you the, the outlet that you need up front? That they have everything that we need. First of all, they are really intense, both of them. So um, the way they can press, the way they can sustain pressure uh, with the opponent is great. Both of them, they can thread you in behind, which can allow people to have spaces inside. They are really good in link of play, and uh, they both have an eye for goal, which is what the, the nines do. But they are not 195, but they have all the qualities that, uh, for the way we play, they are fantastic. Have you sort of taken the Tim Bad for City and Liverpool have achieved success without it? Well, it depends. Look, Harry Kane, look, uh, Haaland. I think there are moments, there are certain strikers that, that are available, that they grow, that uh, they have their moments in, in European football, and depends on their quality. Lewandowski is another one with completely different qualities, scored 45 goals every season. So it's what is available and what the team needs. You want to have everything you see. You want to have a six foot. He, the one who plays a false nine. But uh, what I say is, I'm really happy with the two strikers that we have. How important is his aggression and intensity? You saw Yeri Mina straight away trying to wind no. him up. And it kind of feels like he has a different dimension to. He creates chaos. He creates chaos and, and uncertainty and he's always in your shoulder, he's always there to nick the ball of you, he's always in front of the goal and um, he's a real threat and this is what we need and then he's the one. The moment we give the ball away, he's straight away active and, and putting pressure and, and getting his team behind him and um, he has developed his leadership skill a lot. I can see straight away what he's trying to do with the boys and he's the type of guy that, uh, that we want. Is he going to have Hmm. I love those kind of players. They're streetwise, uh, they learn a lot, they know how to feel, they can take advantage of any situation, and that's what we need. Is that something you haven't really had with maybe Alex and Pierre in the last few years? We had other qualities, and, um, and Gabi and Eddie as well, they bring other different qualities. Okay, what have you seen from Matt Turner so far? Obviously, a lot of people over here. Watching him very closely, not just for how he does with you all, but in terms of another run up to the World Cup this fall where he's going to be in the United States. What have you seen from him so far? And what do you hope to see from him in the next few months? Really happy with him. The way he sets all in is an extraordinary character, um, a lot of personality, and, um, and he's great at what. We want. Uh, obviously, it was a big moment for him to come with the Arsenal shirt um, in the States and play in front of the crowd, and uh, he did really well. What do you hope for him in the next few months? That he continues to do the same and he would keep having chances to play. What did you think of the crowd in Baltimore? How was your stay in Baltimore then? He's been great. Uh, we didn't know uh, what to expect, but I think it was 40,000 uh, supporters here, 35,000 Arsenal fans. So thank you so much for them to come. Uh, they really make a difference. The boy appreciated that. That's what they did, uh, the lap of honor with them. Uh, incredible. So happy and, and thank you.
you yeah. saw the smoke come out, uh, you know, after that second goal and the whole stadium started screaming. Did you expect that kind of intensity from the fans? Well, they have been very passionate. They've been outside the hotel waiting for hours and, <laughs> and doing that. So they've been pretty consistent the last few days. And, uh, and it shows as well the engagement that they have with the team and, and with the players. Uh, a few players in specific seem to get a lot more attention and, and chance and support from the crowd, uh, William Saliba being one of them, mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Niketia being another. Uh, what does that do for a player's confidence, even though it's a friendly uh, at this stage of the season? Uh, probably for them is the, the first time that they are experiencing this in the States, you know, but that means that they start to get some recognition all around the world, and that's credit to the boys for the work that, um, that they are doing. We will try, and we both have the same intention. It's a, a matter of time. And how do you think William Saliba got on in his sort of second Arsenal debut today? Really good. I think he played uh, a really good game. He looked really composed. Uh, straight away from day one, he looks completely focused. Um, he's evolved the way we want it, and today I think he had a, a great performance. Is Ben White okay? I mean, he hasn't been on the bench for the last few games. Yeah, he had an eagle in his squad, and uh, we have protected him, but uh, he trained with the squad yesterday, so we'll hopefully be he will be. Yeah. One more game, just following on from that, really. I know you, you, you've got a big group out here, you can't name them all, but have you actually got any injury problems at the moment? Has anyone not available? We had Kieran with a slight problem. We had Emil as well with a muscular niggle, Tomeyasu as well, and um, and Ben. The rest are fine, but it's, it's a matter of days with, with those guys. Is the error okay? Because I know he had that. Too. Yeah, as well. Sorry. And he had a, a slight problem in, in his bone, which uh, hopefully he will be start to train the next week or so. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.